Reuters report claiming Pakistan is in talks with Indonesia to sell 40 Chinese JF-17 fighters has raised serious doubts, with no confirmation from Indonesia's Defense Ministry and Indonesian Air Force. With Indonesia focused on Rafil F-15EX and the Korean KF-21 programs, the claim pushed by Pakistani writers appears more like export hype than a confirmed defense deal. U.S. President Donald Trump has announced a sweeping 25% tariff on countries that continue to do business with Iran. The decision carries major implications for several nations including India, which has remained among Iran's top five trading partners. Bangalore-based Tanbo Imaging has emerged as the lowest bidder for the Indian Army's acquisition of 1,775 thermal imaging sites for six AO-716 rifles, with a quoted bid value of 37.28 crore rupees. The first batch of SSS Defence's indigenous rifles are ready for delivery to Indian police forces. Hyderabad-based Apollyon Dynamics has delivered a mobile drone lab to the Indian Army, with the capacity to produce 100 FPV drones per month. Tato Advanced Systems Airbus and DRDO's Center for Airborne Systems have begun developing a special mission C-295 aircraft for medium-range maritime reconnaissance for the Indian Navy, with a simplified version planned for the Indian Coast Guard. India's Ministry of Defence is set to clear the production contract for the QR SAM system by the end of March, paving the way for its full induction. Bharat Electronics Limited will lead production, with the Indian Army deploying the system alongside its strike corps. Advanced Israeli counter UAV and very short-range air defence systems Sky Capture and 3D Capture have been spotted at an Indian Army military station, highlighting a push toward gun-based hard kill protection against drones and loitering munitions. IIT Madras has developed a ramjet-assisted 155mm artillery shell that boosts the range of existing Indian Army guns by nearly 50% without reducing lethality. Trials have shown major gains across key systems, and at AGS reached close to 70 km, the K-9 Vajra rose to about 62 km, and the Danush gun achieved nearly 55 km. The project is carried out with Indian Army support, and has completed gun and field trials, validating clean launch stable flight and reliable ramjet ignition. IIT Madras has announced plans to develop a 122mm ramjet-powered rocket for India's legacy BM-21 Grad multiple rocket launcher system, marking a significant step toward boosting the range and speed of conventional artillery rockets through indigenous propulsion innovation. Defence planners see this as a technology demonstrator, with the same ramjet propulsion concept potentially scalable to India's Pinnacle system in the future, opening the door to faster and longer range and harder to intercept precision rockets for the Indian Army. During the ongoing visit of the German Chancellor to New Delhi, the German side has offered the Airbus A400M with an unprecedented localization plan of 85% indigenous content, integrating Indian companies into the global A400M supply chain to manufacture major structures systems and components not only for the Indian Air Force, but also for the global market. The offer also includes setting up maintenance repair and overhaul facilities in India for the Europrop TP400D6 turboprop engines, making India a regional hub and significantly reducing life cycle costs for the Indian Air Force. The DRDO is developing a dedicated 1,500 km range air-launched hypersonic cruise missile for Indian Air Force that will use a dual combustion ramjet propulsion system, enabling efficient air-breathing hypersonic flight over a wide speed range. The air-launched hypersonic cruise missile will have a launch weight similar to BrahMos air-launched missile, allowing it to be integrated on Su-30 fighters without major aircraft modifications, that will enable the Indian Air Force to strike deep strategic targets across Pakistan and the Tibetan Plateau, while remaining extremely difficult to detect or intercept. India's upcoming order for 280 S-400 interceptor missiles has triggered talks with Russia, to assemble the missiles locally in India. Under the model, Indian firms will build the airframes, while Russia will supply the seeker guidance warhead electronics and rocket motor. Final assembly and testing will take place in India, allowing faster replenishment, 
lower import delays, and reduced dependence on foreign supply chains. The framework could later expand to S-400 upgrades, and even future systems like the S-500. Today's Top 3 Comments